Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tripwire and I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. This time we're going to be playing on jungle using the commando with multiple attachments. Uh, in this case we're going to be using the silencer and a custom red dot. And uh, even though I've said I don't like um, making custom reticles, uh, I wanted to make everything kind of blue and kind of cool. So uh, I threw on this one and uh, I did pretty well. Uh, Especially since I've been trying out uh, different things instead of uh, <clears throat> just doing different guns, I'm going to be doing different perks. Uh, today I'm using uh, Scavenger, uh, Scavenger Pro, Warlord Pro, and Tactical Mask Pro, and I'll get into those uh, in a little bit. First off, uh, I want to talk about um, my main point today, and that is kind of uh, other YouTubers that. Um, uh, send me to their channels and you know send me videos personal messages or comments saying hey uh, Tripwire can you please check out my channel and give me your opinion and whatever and <clears throat> Most of the time I do I, I do check it out and <clears throat> see what you guys have and uh, this, It's kind of becoming problematic and uh, The reason for that is because I'm getting some personal messages on my YouTube sometimes uh, actually quite often lately saying uh, hey look uh, I subscribe to your channel can you please check out mine and you know give me your feedback and sub back if uh, if you like it and um, you know I, I will look at your, your, your channel and um, I'll, I'll see what you guys have to offer but uh, what I want to kind of talk about today is uh, a little problem that's been happening with this is uh, I get these messages saying hey I subscribe to you please sub sub back and then I check um, my subscribers and they're not subscribed to me and that's kind of like you know a slap in the face to me and it's something that's really been bugging me lately because I check my emails hundreds of times a day which has both my personal email and my uh, email link to my YouTube so anytime someone subscribes to me sends me a comment or sends me a personal message I get those emails and it tells me exactly what's going on and I can keep up with my YouTube channel. And if people are going to be telling me that they're subscribing to me and that I should subscribe back to them when I know damn well that they're not subscribed to me, that is something that really bugs me. And it's like, dude, you know, that's kind of a rude way of getting um, uh, people to subscribe to you. It's it's something that really bugs me because I put effort into my videos and I want you guys to subscribe to me and I know that some of you put your eff put all your effort into your videos as well and you, you know you want people to subscribe to you as well but don't be an ass about it and you know be begging for subscribers and lie to the to the faces of people that could be potential subscribers to you take two seconds out of your day and actually click the subscribe button I'm totally aware of who's subscribing and who's not who's leaving comments and who's sending me personal messages and who's lying to my face so please don't try it I'm not that stupid and originally I went along with it and I figured oh uh, you know what I'm gonna subscribe to them anyways just to show that I'm the bigger man here and that you know I'm actually more mature than these people are but that's kind of you know I, I've kinda of gone against that now and I and all those people and I know exactly who I'm talking about I'm not gonna stay, say uh, say their name or anything like that but I know exactly who's been lying to me, and even though they said, oh, please subscribe back and because I subscribed to you, I did just, you know, to seem like the more mature person, but now it's starting to bug me, and what I did is I went and I unsubscribed to these people. And if you guys want me to look at your channel, by all means, send me a comment, send me a message on YouTube. I will check it out, trust me. But if you're saying you know uh, that you subscribe to me when I know damn well that you didn't just don't lie to my face trust me I know exactly what's going on with my channel but you know I'll be happy to return the favor as long as you guys do the same to me all I ask is that you take two seconds out of your day to leave a rating and leave a subscription and maybe leave a comment if you have any questions or anything like that and that's kind of how I want to run my YouTube channel I want it to be very friendly I'm very friendly with you guys and I stay active I will watch your videos and comment them comment on them and people who have who I'm subscribed to know that I'm active in their videos if you know you have a question or you raise a topic in your videos I will address my opinions on it and that's kind of the way I feel about it and that's just you know my personal take on this whole issue so from now on 
if you want me to subscribe to you, don't lie to my face. Please return the favor. That's all I ask for. I mean, it's not much. It's not like a big hassle or anything like that. Oh yeah, so after that, uh, I'm going to be talking about my new perks that I've been using lately. Uh, I've been using this kind of setup with two different primary weapons. Uh, I've this In this case, I'm using the Commando. My other uh, gun that I've been using a lot is the Stoner 63, which I'm liking very much. The only difference between this and the Commando that I like, I kind of like the Commando more. But uh, what I'm using with the Stoner 63 is extended mags and a red dot sight. But uh, the problem with that is I find I'm a l you're a lot heavier with the Stoner 63, so you move a little bit slower. And in the past, I've used a lot of SMGs with lightweight and marathon. Then going to a an LMG or with no lightweight or marathon, you're a lot slower. And that's kind of been um, <clears throat> the problem with me lately is I prefer to be... Uh, I'm always mobile and I'm always moving very fast. And uh, these classes kind of reduce that, but I mean, I'm liking the other perks, and they've been working out pretty well for me. In this case, I believe I get 36 kills or something like that, so I was really happy with that. Even though some of them are from kill streaks and whatever, uh, I'm gonna definitely use this class a little bit more often. I don't know if I'm gonna get more videos for you guys, or if you want more videos for you guys. Uh, if you guys want more videos, leave me a comment saying that you do, and I'll try to get you uh, <clears throat> more stuff using the commando. Um, what I like about Warlord Pro is that you get the uh, extra tactical grenade and extra um, lethal grenade. In this case, it's going to be Semtex and Flash grenades. And that's been very useful for me, especially in combination with Scavenger. I can pick up a lot more kills with Semtexes, which I usually get a lot with, even if I have only one without Scavenger. And this just increases, as you see right there. I pick up another Semtex and I just stick the guy. And this becomes so useful for my game, especially uh, with the flash bangs, which I've been using a lot lately, um, in combination with Tactical Mask Pro, which is the next perk I want to get into. Uh, Tactical Mask Pro, one of the elements of the, the Pro part of it is uh, you, you could see where uh, your stunned and flashed enemies are. So if you throw a flash bang into uh, an area, a yellow thing will appear on your crosshairs, as you might have seen a few times in this video, uh, indicating where exactly they are uh, located, and it makes it easier for me to find them. So if I throw it into a room, I could find if they're on the left or on the right, and it's become so much more useful, and especially since you start out with three with Warlord Pro, and then you use Scavenger to pick up more, I've been picking up a lot more kills this way, and that's kind of the point of Call of Duty, especially with the perks, is just finding the right combination of perks that work together in order to enhance the way uh, you play in the game. And this is kind of what's been working for me lately, so I'm going to try to use it more often. I was originally using uh, Hardline just to get it, uh, get pro for the XP, but uh, now I'm going to Scavenger, especially because of what I said with uh, the Warlord uh, perk. So as you see, everything kind of works in together, like Scavenger lets me get my extra uh, grenades and whatever, and then with Tactical Mask I can use the flash grenades just to find out where they are in a room. So that'll pretty much do that. Uh, do this for today. Um, once again, my name is Tripwire. If you guys enjoyed this video, please take the, uh, the few seconds that it takes out of your day to leave a rating. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions or any more suggestions. And uh, leave your opinion on the topics that I try to raise. I mean, that's kind of the point of my commentaries, is to um, <clears throat> get your questions on the topics that I raise. So that's pretty much it. And other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know if I already said it. I probably, I always do say it. But please subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, I sincerely mean it. Thank you guys for watching. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks. Take care.